Guys, just a couple of days ago, they've added a keychain and a notebook and this brochure. Guys, okay, so, I'm not sure how to get a ticket. Oh my gosh, this one's my favorite, probably. Kaitiaki. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Kaitiaki. In the living world, she was an urban art warrior. Beautiful, strange alien structures kept in storage for a time. Gargantuan bird of prey. Wow. What a metallic warrior So number one, she's a New Zealand guy. Oh, I see Melody Bell. Go girl! Go girl, Melody Bell! Kami, wala na mga sapato sa dry yung mga yan. Oh, oh. oh my god. Hindi ba wal wal na yung mga yan? Did you try those? Hi guys, it's me again, Caesar, and welcome to my vlog. Hi, sorry, naka you know na. Oh, you think lang guys? Oh my god, ang chawa ng face ko. As what I've said yesterday, pumunta tayo sa World of Wearable Outfits, ang sa Tipapa Museum dito sa Wellington. So nagbook na ako last night. Pumili ako ng brochure then para mapreciate natin yung mga outfits. Pumunta na don first si Kenneth with his friends kasi nagbook nila yung high tea or something. Thing, na magko costume costume sila. Pupunta ako yung sa 12 o'clock which is punta din sila. So yun guys, nagko-coffee lang ako at the moment. Time check is 11.15 in the morning. 12 yung schedule ko. So kailangan ko magmadali guys kasi hindi ko pa alam saan doon di papa. Baka mag-uber na lang ako kasi nagmamadali na ako. Anyways guys, it's gonna be a very very interesting and enjoyable day. So yun, I'll try to explain as much as possible and show you guys kano kaganda yung mga outfit. So, say ya! Bye! Guys, ito yung outfit ko for today. Ilang beses niyo siguro nakita to. So, itong Zara na top. Tapos, nag-slocks na ako. And then, white na shoes. And then, the same accessories, guys. Mag-jacket pala ako, guys. Just in case. And then, my um, Calvin Klein bag. So, guys, late na ako. <laughs> Madali na ako. Nag-over na lang ako. Bahala na. Um, Rahul is on the way. Perfect. Guys, okay, so it's a very lovely day. May init siya today. Um, baka hindi ko na kailangan mag-jacket. Hey guys, I'm already in the cab. Time check is 12.06. I will arrive there at 12.08. So, 8 minutes late. Guys, um, let's see you. Belize, Belize. 10 minutes late. My god, Caesar, what are you doing? That was the pila pa. Okay, so I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to get a ticket. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a ticket. Oh my god, I'm going to get a ticket. I'm Okay, so it's a pila. So, we're here na guys, at level 4. Um, yun. It's very nice. Ito yung front niya. Guys, just a couple of days ago, they've added a keychain and a notebook and this brochure that I paid for. So, and guys, this is the start of it. Oh, that's so nice. In the living world, she was an urban art warrior committing uh, art crimes to bring joy to inner city dwellers. Nice, this is by Jillian Saunders. Cutie. Next one is Ex Escaped Horse. Very nice. The beautiful, strange alien structures kept in storage for a time and they no longer exist in the world. That bag, guys. Super nice. And there's the other one. 
This was designed by Lynn Christensen. The second one, guys, is Feathers on the Rock. There it is. Wow. Visual feast. Very nice. Oh my god. So Feathers on the Rock is inspired by the legend of a giant fish. Giant fish in the remote North Sea that transforms into a gargantuan bird of prey. Wow. What is this Victoria's Secret, guys? Ah. Big pony shoes. Didn't you make illusion, show guys? Feathers of of the rock by Shuran. Very nice. Show guys, some pani now. Wow, super nice. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Wow, very nice. Next up, guys, we're I'm um, going to go uh, to metallic china place. Look at that. Wow, very nice. So this is Spirit Spirit Born in China by Gao Xiang Xiaotong. Wow, parang metallic warriors sila guys, ang ganda. Very nice. So you're fine. So this one is Spirit Bone. So Spirit Bone represents the enduring power of bone. And that one is Horridus. Physical process of working with metal. This is Persephone's Descent. Um, Persephone bedecked in the armor of Hades, descending into the underworld. Oh, nice. And then I'm it, guys. Did you not go on So, guys, we're heading into a different world than a man. Wow. Wow, and then the Guadito Pong RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> so this is a Mantilla. Mantilla was inspired by a 100 year old piece of lace which was enlarged to create a pattern for the print. Oh, very nice. So this one is Human Nature. It's like a real coral reef, Human Nature grew organically. Oh, it's like a coral reef. Oh my gosh, this one's my favorite, probably. Kaitiyaki. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Kaitiyaki. So, live with the native Tui. Like the native Tui, watching from above, we are Kaitiyaki or the guardians. Ito yung palagi kung ginagamit na model ko for leadership. Kaitiyaki, the guardian, entrusted to care for Aitiroa and our planet. Oh my gosh, this is me. This is me here. Kaitiaki, this is my leadership style. Kaitiaki. Very nice. And this one, next one here is um, natural progression. Wow. So artificial intelligence meets Maori design. This garment intuitively designed itself. Very nice. Oh my gosh, look at the shoes guys. The shoes, the details. That. So guys, the next one is Wakahuia. 
because that lady over there is so nice. Oh, the little guys, you know, outfit, very, very nice. So this is Wakahuya, is a, a goddess who walks our sacred land. This one here and protects our most prized taonga which is treasure in her waka huia a treasure box so where's the treasure box where is oh this is her treasure box probably oh my gosh very pretty very pretty next up guys this is kuwini by kyla christensen so i don't see si kuwini girl but oh my gosh look meron siyang parang Parang um, tool for days. Tool ba yan? Hindi naman tool. But look, this is Queenie. So the queen of our most prized taonga, our birds. Oh, queen siya ng mga birds, guys. <gasps> look at her. Oh my gosh. Super duper pretty. Very nice. Ang ganda. Next one, guys, is Ornitho Maya. This lady over here. Ornitho Maya. Wow. Very nice. Ornitho Maya. So, Ornitho Maya, the bird mother, is the ethereal protector of the beautiful feathered creatures of the world. So, she has to protect her, guys. So guys, then we are going to the next phase, which I think is the creatures themselves. So our next one is the sea. Kensha. So this is Firebird by Susan Holmes. Oh, you guys, na halipad siya. Na halipad siya, guys. So Stravinsky's music combined with the exotic displays of birds of paradise. Wow. Kensha, it's a bird. Please. So that's no. So in the making of this work, Suzanne Holmes wanted to achieve an exotic unfolding display of color and form. Just as the birds of paradise can dance in form changing sculptures of their mates. Very nice. And just on the side guys is Echoplex, goddess of reverb. Look at that. Look at the details. Oh my god. Very nice. So this is Echoplex. So this uh, goddess of reverb. I don't know what that look at that earpiece. Earpiece. Oh my god. I'm going to earpiece. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. Very nice. I like it. It's a combination of sharp lines and soft curves that grip, ripple, reflect, and repeat off the planes of the body and flow to the ground like a goose bumps down. Next one up, guys, is I see you, fluffy coffee. Nice. A mother like no other. Oh my god, this one's super nice. Mother like no other. Just on the side, guys, we've got Woven Intent. Actually, this was made by Kristen Fletcher in Australia. Wow, very nice. Very nice. So, inspiration struck the uh, maker when she was leaving Glastonbury Festival and was aghast to discover the thousands of tents abandoned and shone but like the aftermath of a cyclone Oh, look at that Look at the guys, super nice and there's the other one guys of the two the two woven and tint This is the orange, red and yellow um, combination very nice, same design but very very nice. Here it is. 
Warriors. This one is probably one of my favorites. Its name is The Lady Warrior by Reynold D. Unardi. So inspired by his mother who has been a great inspiration in um, his life, The Lady Warrior has crafted using metal and recycled paper. Guys, let me just see Kenna. Where did you get this? How many? How much? Um, 20 ata. Uh -huh. And it's a notebook and guys, I think one of my favorite notebook special guys and in details no oh my god they want the dress I can see myself wearing this guys no I wanna do drag because of this and so so much around it Paganda na paganda siya guys. Um, I think this one next is also one of my favorite. Um, Lady of the Wood by David Walker. There it is guys. Super nice. Oh my gosh. This would probably be very happy. Very, very nice. <sighs> it's just gorgeous. Very nice. Oh my gosh. This is so lovely. Guys, and then then yeah, para siyang Bridgerton, but it's it's wood. It must be very heavy, but very nice, sophisticated. And I like all the um, background. So it's like a corset, and then yeah, I don't know. It's very nice. I love it. Para siyang special, guys, kasi di ko talaga siya nakalagay sa parang isang any dorm. So. Very special city Very nice. Up to the next one, guys. Wala ko sana sabi na favorites ko yung mga nakikita ko. Oh my gosh, another favorite of mine. I think nahanap ko siya. Nakita ko siya sa ano. Is this one? Guys, I got the design. Oh my god. Is Beast in the Beauty. <laughs> Why is this super nice? So, Beast in the Beauty was a very personal work of a carpenter, David Walker. Inspired by his wife and other women with cancer. Ooh. It is a reflection of their struggle to maintain their dignity and beauty throughout treatment. Wow. Totally can relate with this. Guys, next one is Axe Minstress. Wow, so from the hallways of, the, of our past to carpet runway ready, this revolutionized antique chic twin, twin set reflects how far women have come to be confident, independent, and successful. Oh my god, so this is woman empowerment in here. Oh, that's great. Look at so next up guys is parang ito yung um, futuristic I would say and more fashionista so I'm going to do that Hi Hi You enjoying? Yes, yes, it's very nice Amazing Use Refuge by Grace Duval. <gasps> wow. Look at those. Oh my god. Very nice. Where are these? So let's see what this outfit is about. There's like feathers in the back as well. So Refuge, ref, Refuge, Refuge is a warrior woman, an alien human building her future from the rubble of Earth's past. It's a warrior lady here. Very nice. The next one, guys, is this two outfit over here. This is what they call Gemini, the twins. So they're twins, guys. They actually have the same design, but inverted colors. Oh my god. So angels or devils, two beauties for certain. The twins' spiraling patterns cascade over their curves and hypnotize those who bear witness. Wow. Just wow. Very nice. 
<laughs> so we're on to our next set of wearable outfits. And this one is called Voyage to Revolution. Look at that. Oh, oh. Okay, so I don't I can totally relate with this because Voyage of Magellan or something. It looks very Spanish. Um, there's like a boat there, so probably the name of Filipinos around this just because we were colonized by the Spanish. So we know what it's like. So this garment takes inspiration from the downfall of Marie Antoinette, the last queen of France, whose extravagant lifestyle and obsessive choices in the wardrobe and jewelry helped provoke the popular unrest that led to the French Revolution. Para um, si ang tao dito? Si uh, Emelda Marcos. Oh my God. This next one is probably one of my favorites as well. His name is Inkling. Uh, the precise moment of her latest tattoo is completed. A strange sensation courses through her body. She now has more ink in her veins than blood, and a bizarre metamorphosis is taking shape. This ink symbols adorning her body once her mental armor now become physical armor. Wow. So this is Inkling, guys. Shit, it's super nice. One of the definite faves. Oh my god. Look at the details. Oh my god. This one is super nice. Very nice. Next up, we've got Templamentis. So, this was designed by. Daniela Sasvare. Sorry, forgive <laughs> me. So Daniela, the designer, is a painter, textile artist, and a designer who describes her style as soft, feminine, historical, and a little bit religious. Ah, uh, so there's, uh, there's Adam and Eve, probably. Yeah, that's, that's Eve. The, the religious, this Adam, I would say. was modeled after the work of a Hungarian architect, Emre Makovic, a deeply spiritual man who built churches and community houses. This one, guys, is very, I don't want to say wearable, but very different, very different. His name is Gothic Habit. So this one over here, it's like they're wearing the whole building or very interesting show guys, it's really a building. I don't know if we can touch it, but... What do you show me laro laro on guys? Oh my god, look at that, there's some I like the details. Inspired by the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. So as you can see, this one here, guys, um, very colorful, very nice. I'm trying to see what the vibe is, but this one is called Kaleidoscope. So the word Kaleidoscope is derived from the ancient Greek word that means to observe beautiful forms. So drawing inspiration from the Kaleidoscope itself, this garment is made up of a succession of symmetrical designs and angular shapes from panels of colored acrylic and mirrors. Oh my god, that's super nice as well. Very different from the others. Wow. In the details inside. Uh, this one would probably be one of the uh, favorites of the kiddos. This one is like um, a princess-like castle. So we'll see what this is about. This is Maiden Lane. So if only I could explore all the fascinating rooms, towers, and hallways of a castle, what magic it would be to live in a castle. So yes, definitely it is a castle. That's that. It's definitely a castle. 
Parang siyang sa... sa Disney, guys. Guys, the next one is um very nice. Just looking at the picture, but I'm looking, I'm looking for it now. Uh, where? Oh, dun siya nasa taasya, guys. So you'll see on the picture. It looks like that, but it's actually up over there. So dun siya, guys. That's super nice. Oh my God, it's super very metal. This, this, this garment was designed to be a striking bustier and dress with an industrial edge. The goal was to turn the unfor unforgiving me medium of metal, commonly used for armor into in battle, into something that mimics the characteristics of a fabric. Wow. The next one guys is my favorite new bin. It's the collar and just the whole thing. So this one is called Chica Under Glass by Peter Whiteman. This garment was crafted by hand, not a mold inside. Um, there's like a movie in the back. Wow. Would have been very nice to see this. I will reply. Look at those outfits. Oh my god, very nice. Shishika under glass. Oh, these are the details. Ang ganda niya parang glossy na. Oh my god. Very nice. Alright, metal ba to? Pero. Ganyan ang katawan mo ba? So this one over here is Diva's Dreamscape. So. The designer was inspired by the art of Deco's influence on art, fashion, and architecture. So he wanted to achieve a futuristic industrial look blended with timeless beauty and glamour. This one, guys, is probably again one of my favorites. I can already see it from the from afar over there. Look at that. So this is Enlightened by Michelle White and Adam Hayden. Sculptural depiction of self-expansion and possibilities with pockets and pleats open to the light. And I think that's it. It's very nice because when you look at the outfits, um, parang, parang ka, but when you know the story behind it, it's it's just amazing. I think what really moved me is the um, young warrior na inspired by young woman that's made on cancer or something like that. Inspired by his wife and other women with cancer.
Token at saan para pupunta? Anong name? Pero lumalangoy! Lumalangoy! Oh, Ayun, lumalangoy na siya! Look at it! Ito yung gusto kong bilhin na plant, guys. Oh my god, ang talim. Yeah. Yes! Ano ba? Ito si Mark. 